tail with the uh, violet. Lovely different kinds of kale. I feel we are going to have some heads of the cabbage. Right on time for enjoying. Beautiful salad beans, fresh and crisp, all from our own seeds. And these are from the seeds that we brought from Chiltern's seed. And these are a mixture of our own seeds, salad lettuces. Easy to pick the weeds. And I've done an experiment to sow some um, spring green, spring uh, salad onion, salad <laughs> spring onion. And as you can see, they're grown. They were manky when I got them. And now we may have something. We can harvest them as they grow because we want the green part and a bit of the white part. So we will see how they will do. Now the beetroots are doing well. And the radicchio. Yeah, that one never grew because it was in the shadow of the other one. That one was harvested, which was shadowing on this one. And now it has given more leaves. Yeah, this lovely kale has gone really well. Mm. And this four season salad bean. Beautiful. Such a delightful colors. And uh, yeah, Mizuna, Chinese cabbage in that corner. Let me see how the Chinese cabbage are being. I may transplant a few of them to the polytano. Yeah, they need a bit of space, so I may just do it. Yeah, red winged uh, um, spinach has done well. And our garlics are growing. Well done on that. Again, again. These are the leeks I planted in the clump, just to see how they will do. And I have to remove some of the weeds here, so I will do it today, hopefully. And those uh, flaming red um, mustard, I like to have color this year. This year for me is about having more color than other than green, and I'm getting it. And as you can see, uh, I find the weeds easy to pick because it's very dense bedding here. And then I just pull them out. Easy as that. Lots of oregano, thyme, and other herbs, they grow nice even in the winter. The smell of it is amazing. Oh, oh these are lovely. Pots of salad greens. Non stop growth.
The Iranian medlar has lost his uh, leaves, most of it. But there are some medlars yet ready. And I can see the birds were eating them because they are ripe. Mmm. 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 You have to harvest them. Wow. Oh, let me taste it. Mmm. 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 Apple and plum. That's the best description. Oh, another one fell just behind me. That is all what remains when you eat the harvest is. There is one yet attached to this. Oh, that's ripe. Mm -hmm. Should I eat it? Yes. Oh no, we'll do a test with Susan. Apple variety topaz is ready also. It was not good here for apples, but we have topaz here. So probably we should harvest them today. An apple variety winter king is doing well. Uh, we have some crop. It's the first year that actually kept the crop and last year the rats were eating them. This is the first year that uh, we had any apple left on this tree. Usually the rats which were coming from the compost were eating them. This year we didn't keep our compost here. And they didn't have any chance to come and eat them. One well, of the fallen apples are just tasty. Oh! 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 So fresh, aromatic, fruity. Mmm! Such a delightful apple. Mmm! The flesh is quite yellow, white. The flesh is white, cream color, yellow. The apple is firm. It's beautiful, delicious. Although it is dirty, I will not eat the rest of it. I will keep it in my pocket. It was fallen. Um, I told you about this winter king of Winston apple that was every year eaten by rats and uh, mouse. They would take them, roll them on the ground and disappear. And you can see some of them have fallen. But what I want to show you is this. I don't know what has happened here. As you see, the flies are laying eggs. This was under this old um, trunk, tree trunk. It looks like a little piglet. It's sad at the same time. It's dead. Beautiful autumn colors in the allotment. This cherry tree has beautiful leaves. And Winter King has, is yet doing photosynthesis. It's green. And it has fruit. This is 
are the leaves of the red currant in the autumn, in November. We have such a warm autumn and everything is yet doing some photosynthesis. Gradually they're turning their leaves off. Some colors of the Queen's Esfahan. I wish we had a better place so we could actually give this tree some space. Okay, you see that these things hanging from the hazel, hazelnut tree. And as you can see, they may give us some, again, some hazelnut next year. I wanted to copy it this year, but um, I'm just giving up. I may not do it this year. And uh, let them have some chance of growing some hazelnut for us. We will see if they do. The energy is going to the branches and yeah. will be wasted in fruit. You don't want fruit from this tree? Don't you? Well, maybe. I don't really know much about hazel. Maybe you should leave it. These are the, I think, male or female flowers. Well, we'll look it up when we get time. I don't know much about hazel trees, I must admit. So that's a learning curve for us. We'll look it up and then we'll let the viewers know. This was a offshoot from a hazel not tree that the council was going to cut. So I decided to actually get that offshoot when they were approaching the other tree. So in the first year, it gave us some hazelnut. I have a video about it. I may find it and just show you. Another hot day in the November and yet we have to water the polytunnel. It's amazing. This is Cherry Morello in the November, mid-November. And as you can see, the leaves are going gradually uh, yellow, red, orange, different colors. Almost all the cherries are going through this now. Beautiful autumn display. I must admit, I never noticed the change of color in the cherries so much pronounced. They are really amazing at this time of the year. Is it exceptional this year is like that? I think last year by then, the, all the leaves were finished. And here we are in the mid-November and we have yet these beautiful leaves. These are decorative orange and it has orange in it. Fragrance or citrine citrina of Calamondia kind. Of course citruses are all originated from China. Mandarin, another name for it. It's the name of the language. Here we have here some uh, lovely pomegranate and they are doing well actually so they are in the next flower set I will replant it now so in the mid early mid November um, mid autumn practically we have potato Christmas potato we have lots of apples medlar apple different varieties topaz uh, these ones are the uh, winter king or Winston 
we have some red fallest stuff apple those are small ones fallest stuff apple normal ones and some eggs we have not counted the amount of the flowers and the uh, salad greens we are taking home just these ones an allotment is providing us with food even at these times We are in the mid-November and yet we have a strawberry Look, flowers. I can see strawberries. You can? Yeah, see you. Our common food. And that is November. It's so warm. It's unusual. Just <laughs> in the early November. Probably we can now go for tropical uh, you know, harvest crops. Because it's early, it's uh, mid-November. And yet we have harvest <laughs> in the lot. Sharpomira, a late variety planted in August, has given us a crop before Christmas. That was supposed to be Christmas potato and be small. Usually Christmas potatoes are small. Amazing weather. Now it's the time to go home.